Hey, what's up everybody? So in today's video, I gotta explain inheritance. Inheritance allows a new class to inherit properties and methods from an existing class. These two classes have a parent-child relationship. A child will inherit properties and methods from a parent. It's kind of like a family tree. A child will inherit genes from a parent. Inheritance helps with code reusability because we don't need to keep on repeating the same properties and methods if all the children share them. Here's an example. We'll create an animal class. Class animal will have a property of alive. If you're an animal, you start off being alive. All animals should be able to eat and sleep. We'll create methods for those. We'll have an eat method. All we're going to do is console.log. I'll use a template string. This. Now I'll add a placeholder. This dot name is eating and a sleep method sleep this this dot name is sleeping animal will be the parent class we'll create children classes that inherit these properties and methods let's create a few children classes class rabbit our rabbit class will inherit all the properties and methods of the animal class to declare a parent-child relationship, the child will extends the parent animal. For the rabbit, I'm going to give this class a name. Name equals rabbit. This will be a property. If you're familiar with the static keyword, you can make the static. Now we'll create a fish class that also extends animal. Class fish extends animal. Fish will have one property. Name equals fish. And a hawk class. Class hawk extends animal. We'll have one name property. Hawk. All right, let's see if this works. If we create a rabbit, fish, and hawk object, they should have access to these properties and methods. Let's create const rabbit equals new rabbit const fish equals new fish const hawk equals new hawk all right let's see if our rabbit has an alive property console.log take the name of the object rabbit dot access a property or method alive that's our property the rabbit is alive but what if the hawk swoops in and kills the rabbit let's change the alive property of the rabbit rabbit dot alive equals false the rabbit is no longer alive now let's see if our rabbit has access to a eat and sleep method rabbit dot eat this rabbit is eating and sleep rabbit dot sleep the rabbit is sleeping let's test this with fish fish dot alive fish dot eat method fish dot sleep method the fish is alive the fish is eating the fish is sleeping and hawk hawk dot alive hawk dot eat method hawk dot sleep method the hawk is alive the hawk is eating the hawk is sleeping our children classes of rabbit, fish, and hawk all inherited the properties and methods of the parent animal class. This helps with code reusability because I don't need to declare all of these properties and methods within each of the children classes like this. We're saving a lot of lines of code. It's not that apparent with just a few child classes, but imagine if you had hundreds of different child classes. Well, by using inheritance, you would be saving a lot of time. But not only that, the children can have their own unique properties and methods too. For example, rabbits will be able to run, but fish and hawks can't run. That's a method that only belongs to rabbits. Within our rabbit class, let's create a new method, a run method. We'll console.log, I'll use a template string, this, add a placeholder, this.name, is running 
within our fish class, let's create a swim method. Swim. This, this dot name is swimming. And hawks will be able to fly. We'll create a fly method. This, this dot name is flying. Let's minimize these classes. Let's take our rabbit object, display the alive property, the eat method, the sleep method, and the run method. Rabbit dot run method. The rabbit is eating, the rabbit is sleeping, the rabbit is running. Now let's do this with fish. Fish dot alive, fish dot eat method, fish dot sleep method. Now does the fish have a run method? It does not. Fish dot run is not a function. Run is a method that belongs to the rabbit class. Fish can't run because, well, they don't have legs. We did not give our fish class a run method. They can swim, though, but they can't run. Fish dot swim method. The fish is swimming. Let's do this with hawk. Our hawk cannot swim, but it can fly. We'll use the fly method. The hawk is eating, the hawk is sleeping, the hawk is flying. And, of course, our rabbit can't fly or swim. Does our rabbit have a fly method? It does not. Rabbit.fly is not a function. All right, everybody, so that's inheritance. It allows a new class to inherit properties and methods from an existing class. A child inherits properties and methods from a parent. It helps with code reusability. I don't need to declare all of these properties and methods for each of these classes. I can simply reuse it. That helps us follow the dry principle. Don't repeat yourself. And well, everybody, that is an introduction to inheritance in JavaScript.